Hello viewers, welcome to Programming Geek. I'm here with a new tutorial that is connect SQL Server with Android Studio step by step. First of all, I'm gonna create a folder in the G drive and a tutorial folder to create Android application to connect with SQL Server in Visual, uh, Android Studio. Okay, my folder is created now. This folder is empty. Start Android Studio, new project, select empty activity, and then click next. Select the directory folder what I already created in the G drive Android project. Uh, and a tutorial folder this is the connect with underscore sql click on ok yes language is java name the application my application name is connect with sql ok now click on finish yes the application is created now see that this is default text hello world now design this uh, page uh, with button and text view this is the button resize this button and uh, concentrate in top right left yes and bottom okay now go to the code and change the android text size just to write Android text size equal to 35 SP. Okay, now see the text of this button. Button text is uh, get data SQL. Okay, now this is uh, looking nice. Now add a text view. Yes text view to display data from SQL Server database to text using button click ok now concentrate the text view to also to position it ok now go to the main activity at java adding a java class first of all add a java class to, co to connect with sql my java class name is con sql okay in the java class i will write the information for of server i mean server ip for database and username or server authentication SQL server authentication also so this is suppress lint new app here to display lint public connection con class my class name is con class and the string if equal to 172.1.2.0 you should put your if your server if sql server if address go to the sql server database to check the database yes uh, so this is also sql server authentication is the name sa and password is sql server authentication password yes my database name is my task db table is yes uh, table is student info underscore tab select the records these are the records in the database table you can see student id name addresses contact date of birth and admission fee my database name is my task db just copy this database name and uh, paste it in db you can see the fort fort is a default SQL Server TCP IP fort. If you change your SQL Server TCP IP fort, you should uh, put your changed uh, TCP IP port. Okay, the name SA and password is Swift07. Okay, now string strict mode dot thread policy a equal to new strict mode dot thread policy dot builder dot permit dot build. Okay. Next mode dot set third policy A. Finally, string connect URL. The default connect URL is null. Now I will set uh, URL first of all. Add a try catch. Try catch uh, exception E. 
finally it will display if any error occurred then it will display the result log uh, result error is and then the masses e dot get masses press alter plus enter to uh, rectify this error okay now class dot for name net dot source force dot jdds dot jdbc dot driver and connect url my connect uh, url is jdbc jdds sql server colon double slash you should foot uh, 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 syntax accurately ip for database name equal to db and semicolon user equal to username password equal to password yes now it is done then con equal to driver manager dot get connection con uh, show you if you uh, if you mistake any syntax then it will not execute perfectly uh, return connection con okay now as you can see jtbc jtds so add jar dependency this is my application in this application uh, see that this is the jtds 1.3.1 jar file you can uh, get download link in the description box below open the application open the library now library folder is empty just copy this file and paste it in the library folder yes now my jar file is added okay now go to the file menu click on project structure click on dependency click on f and the plus sign under the declare dependency jar dependency just uh, select the path copy the path and paste yes now add backslash and uh, file name i mean complete file path you should put complete file path yes in the after the backslash there and for the file name okay apply okay okay now make sure the tcp ip is enabled so go to the sql server configuration manager here yeah, this is sql server configuration manager open and tcp ip is disabled so enable tcp ip yes tcp ip is enabled and restart the sql server service yes sql server just to restart yes it's restarting now see that all the tcp ip is enabled yes all the tcp ip is enabled so now it will work okay now go to the activity the java here i'll write code to display data from sql server database to text view my button id is button so first of all declare button button btn connect equal to button find view by id r dot id dot button okay now btn connect dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener yes press enter then it will uh, automatically create the on click event okay now text view name equal to text view find view by id r dot id dot text view my text view name is text view so let's check yes this is the text view select text view and you can see the id is on the text view okay now con sql equal c equal to new con sql okay first of all uh, declare connection connection connect connection okay now connection equal to c dot con class con class is my class name in the con sql java, java. Uh, okay now if c not equal to null i mean if connection is okay can, uh, then uh, string sql statement my sql statement is to select records from the sql server database to text view so 
uh, select a star from s 20 info underscore tab this is my table name and then create a statement a statement smt equal to connection dot create a statement finally result set get a result set result set set equal to smt dot execute query sql statement for the declared okay now while set dot next name dot set text as set dot get string oh this is duplicate uh, breaks okay column index is true finally close the connection con dot close you can see here uh, displaying some error so surround with try cats you should uh, add this code uh, um, uh, in the try cats okay try and remove the closing back and now close uh, after the connection close okay cats exception e then log dot e error e don't get messes okay now at this code android manifest dot xml user permission android name equal to permission dot internet and then user permission android name equal to access network state okay now it's okay let's uh, run this app okay it's on now just uh, click on get data sql uh, connection is not working so let's check the connection go to the con class data is name equal to db user oh sorry uh, it's a mistake a space so remove this space and uh, okay now all are working fine all this is uh, the code is okay uh, close this uh, application and uh, run again to apply change okay now it's uh, starting get a invocation finished it will take some time please be patient yes android is starting yes it's uh, now running click on get data sql jenny yes see that seven student thirty seven student name is jenny if i change index then if i change the index for address it will display the address we see okay now change the index two to three yes rerun this Page. yes it's uh, yes so version successful yes it's displaying USA if we change index 5 then it will display 5 yes get the rest well and uh, index 5 is contact so 1521 to is displaying contact number okay thanks for watching this tutorial